Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Alex, and today I wanted to go over a couple different sets of microphones. First being the microphones that I already have up on my kit and I've used in you know, the majority of my videos. And then second, I wanted to go and try and use these kind of budget microphones by CAD. Uh, these ones have a snare, kick, and then three tom microphones, as well as two overheads. So I'm going to do the same kind of configuration on my kit and then do a just kind of quick comparison to see what they sound like uh, as far as, you know, the professional versus the budget ones, hear what they sound like unmixed, and then hear what they sound like after they've been mixed and everything. So give these uh, two a listen real quick and let me know what you think. So that's what those two mic kits sounded like, just dry, unprocessed, unmixed. Basically only the volumes were kind of changed in relation from one mic to the other just to make them all kind of sound somewhat coherent. The biggest thing that I noticed was more so with the overheads uh, with the CAD mics. I noticed you, it picked up a lot more of the wash of the cymbals, uh, specifically the ride when I was playing that, whereas the 214s picked up more of the, just kind of like the stick attack of the cymbals. So that being said, um, I've gone through and mixed both of these just kind of based off the template that I typically use and made a little bit of adjustments uh, just on each individual mic just to kind of get the finalized sound to be as close as possible. So here's what it sounds like mixed uh, and check this out. So now that you've heard what they sound like mixed, uh, let me know what you think in the comments, what differences you picked up. I know to my ears, kind of like I said on the unmixed version as well, the condenser mics from the CAD mic set sounded a little more kind of washy to me and not quite as detailed. And I did do a bit more processing on the kick mic and the tom mics on the CAD uh, microphones as well. Specifically, the CAD kick mic had a lot more kind of in the around like 100, 120 hertz range that was kind of adding up to be a little too boomy for my taste. So I took a lot of that out in addition to a little bit of 300 or so, which I took out of my, uh, my kick mic as well, the Shore Beta 52. 
And then also with the Tom mics, I took out, uh, did a decent amount out of around 3K. I felt like there was a lot of really, you know, two kind of slappy attack on the toms, and those were really kind of making them forward in the mix and poke through a little bit too much. So I took that out a little bit as well, but I think both results sounded great, and really what I'm trying to get across on this is basically you don't need, you know, thousands of dollars worth of microphones or even, you know, the setup I have is probably around a thousand or so um, just to get a usable drum sound. I did have to do a little bit more processing with the budget mics, but I'm still pretty happy with the end result, and I think that's a good just kind of lesson to keep in mind that with all microphones, there are going to be some differences from a cheaper mic to a more expensive mic. But it's all about uh, working with what you have and then kind of tuning your ear just to the differences that you would pick up on one mic versus another one, being able to kind of work with those. So please let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks.